name is Noemi. So today I want to share with you a few organizing ideas and some of the new things that I discovered and I'm just really excited to share this with you guys because some of them has really helped me to get more efficient in the kitchen and also to reduce some of the things in my kitchen as well. Okay, so the first one that I want to share with you that just blew my mind away. Why I haven't found this earlier? Because there are great things on Amazon, but it takes a lot of time and luck to discover them. So I was looking for a lemon juicer and I really wanted to opt out from the plastic one. And no matter how much I looked for in the stores online, I couldn't find any stainless steel. So I ended up finding one at Goodwill that was made from glass, which was something that I really loved, but one, it took up a space. Two, when I squeezed the juice out, it didn't really um, strain the seeds out of it. So I was always ending up with seeds in my drink. So I have to tell you, <laughs> oh, I love this stuff. This is something, I think it's an incredible thing. Check this out. So this is the juicer that I find. It's stainless steel, that is just one thing, but here's the best part. It fits to my beloved jars. <laughs> if you are new here, you might not know, but if you've been here watching me for a while, you know how much I love jars because they are so practical. They save space, they have multiple purpose. I can use this as a glass. So even I can change the size of that, I can change to a smaller one, bigger one, depends on the size what I need. And I only have to just store this part because I'm already using this. I have to store this one and I just put on the top and I just use this lid that I already have and that secures it on the top. And it works amazing, you guys. It's <laughs> so easy to clean so once i'm done i just take away the top and all the seeds staying in here and i can use the juice and i can just put a lid on it so that way it saves me for washing extra dishes <laughs> i just love it i would say this is my number one favorite amazon find but besides the brushes because i love that too to use to clean my jars but this is something I thought, wow, I can reduce one more thing in my kitchen. It has multiple ways I can use. The other great find that I love, it's not all of them Amazon, but I will try to find the link for you guys. But this would be this wooden plates. And I always shied away from wooden things because I just didn't know how to take care of them. Now I did my research and i see that it's not a big of a deal and it's amazing because <laughs> if you saw my previous videos i broke a few plates so <laughs> lately i'm being very clumsy and i always break them when it's clean not before i clean them so at least <laughs> i don't have to clean them no when it's clean then i break it <laughs> so I really love this wooden plate so the clumsy person like me it's perfectly suits and also i love the fact that it's super light. I really love this because when I tried to put something on the shelves, one is the shape because it has a round shape. I had a really hard time to put this on because it was just overhanging and to be honest, I'm afraid it's not going to hold up there <laughs> because those are very heavy. But these are very super lightweight and I have to tell you the food looks amazing on these i think it's more appetizing that way i still have some glass plates so i kept those but now i'm not going to purchase any more of that because that will serve me as much as i have and instead of that i'm going to use this so during the day with my kids we love using that and i love the shape it's kind of like a narrower than a square one or the run shape one it's really a very convenient size. Okay, and here's another one that I want to share. I got this one from the farmer's market, but I was able to find this for you guys on Amazon. And I'm being very careful about kitchen gadgets because I think they can be done with a very simple knife and just a cutting board. 
but this one is something that was such a worth of an investment so it came in three pieces this is a shredder and i can shred some lemon zest and some garlic on it which i had this little silicone tube i can just put this one in there and just roll it and then comes out clean so it works so well i just love this this is something I didn't have in my kitchen and now that I have it I can see that it actually speeds up my work big time let alone it doesn't make my hands smell like garlic and I like it because it looks pretty so I can just leave it out here and it's just very useful to me. The other discovery that I had a few weeks ago, <laughs> I was pulling out my spices. So once I discovered that this can fit through on the trap drawer, I was like, <laughs> I need to reorganize my kitchen. I need to make space for the spice on the top drawer because it's so much easier to open because it's not as of a deep shelf. So if you remember, so if you remember, I keep my spice in this one and I still have these jars. However, because it's a deep drawer and I am trying to reduce my food storage area. Just to give you an update, I used to have pantry items in the drawer, but now I'm able to put here all the things that we use on the go, which is empty now because my boys are not home and they took a bunch of food. But so this was the area and I really wanted to clear out that space so when I wash the dishes I put everything here I can put into that section so that means I don't need to step away when I putting away the dishes so it's less of a walk for me and it just gets done quicker so I don't have any food in there anymore and I was working on to using up all the items that I had there so all the food that we have is in here yes i did it <laughs> it was tricky but i did it so what i figured i have more of this bigger jar and i want to switch this into a uh, bigger jars and i have another discovery that i made well i have a few just once i discovered that these flat ones are fit into this drawer so i can close it without a problem i immediately thought I should put the spices here because it's easier to open and also when I cook I can just open the lid I don't even have to physically take this out and I can just use a spice I got a little spoon up there I can just grab the little spoon and then just scoop out whatever I need close it and I can just shut the drawer so that way I don't have to put this out and then put it back because it's already here in the hand and the other thing that I discovered as I was putting the spices in here I accidentally knocked something upside down and I was like wow I can even see them more that way so all those teas like these are uh, dried flowers so these are very pretty to look at it and it's very easy to stored that way so i get to see because of the bottom it kind of works like a magnifying glass so i can see what's in there like this one has the salt but i don't turn upside down the ones that are very fine powder like like baking powder and sonatan gum and gelatin and onion powder i don't flip those but like yeast and all those bigger like cutaway seed and teas this can go upside down so that's fine because they can get out of the lid very easily so i just really love that's the fact that I don't have to label these anymore. I can write the date with a white chalk marker, but I don't have to because we use them up very quickly. We go through very quickly, so I don't need to know the expiration date because I'm pretty sure we eat them before it expires. I just see the food exactly because this is the hard part with the drawer. I love it can hold a lot of things, but it's not like the pantry where you can see them upright what's in there just like on the top i turned upside down some of the items like the lentils and sesame seeds and some bay leaves so all those 
big bulky items that it's okay if they go into the lid i wouldn't turn upside down the nutritional yeast but i only have just a few of them that way that i can turn upside down the rest of them i get to see so right now i actually i solved the problem that i had before that i couldn't see them i always had to read the labels but that way i get to see what's inside let me know down below in the comments what is your biggest struggle in the kitchen to store thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon Bye!